If you're going on dental school interview soon, you need to watch this video. What's up everybody? My name is Eli and I'm a third year dental student at Boston University Goldman School of Dental Medicine. On this channel, I make dental school vlogs as well as videos with advice for pre-dental students such as this one. So if that's what interests you, please, please, please make sure you subscribe Share the channel with anyone else that might find it interesting or useful. Like the videos, comment under the videos, etc. In today's video, I'll be talking about a topic that is very pertinent for those students who are about to go on dental school interviews, and that is what type of questions should you be asking in your dental school interviews? Now, as hard as this may be, I want you to shift your perspective about dental school interviews right now or whatever you might be thinking your interview is gonna seem like. Your dental school interview is a good way for you to get to know the school as well as for the school to get to know you. We always prepare for our dental school interviews in a way where we ask people, oh, what kind of questions could they ask me? Okay, why do I wanna be a dentist? Why do I wanna attend the school? But then when we get in the interview, we answer all these questions and we feel great, that daunting question comes at the end and sometimes it stumps us. So are there any questions for me? If this question stumped you before, whether it be in a job interview, grad school interview, or whatever it might be, I'm here to help. So first, let's talk about the basic structure of dental school interviews. From my experience, a lot of the interviews will start off with basic questions like, so tell me about yourself, or so what led you to dentistry, etc. And then the conversation will kind of flow from there. More than likely, the interviewer will ask you a question or two from your application, such as, Describe blank experience to me, or describe this club you were in before, etc. And that's all good and fine. There are plenty of ways to prepare for interviews. There's plenty of videos out there. I even made a video a few years ago that you could watch here. But mainly, I want to talk about the question that stumps everybody, that nobody really talks about, that people give advice for but don't really tell you why, and that is, so do you have any questions for me? Or it's, so do you have any questions about insert said school you're interviewing at? So I'm gonna give you guys some questions that you can ask and the rationale behind why you would wanna ask these questions to your interviewer. So I'm gonna list these questions out and of course you can take some or not depending on what's a priority to you. I just thought about some things that would be priorities to me and put them in the list. So number one, are your classes recorded? If you watched any of my previous videos, you know that I like to rewatch classes because my attention span isn't the greatest and sometimes you might have to miss class for whatever reason. I don't like to just read other people's notes. I don't find that very helpful for myself. I like to listen to the professor talk and explain things. So one big thing for me was asking, are the classes at your school recorded? Question number two. This question may not be so pertinent to everybody, and me personally, when I was a pre-dent, I did not understand the rationale behind this question, but it was always a question that people said you should ask in your dental school interviews. And that is, what specialty programs or what residency programs do you have at the school? And here's probably why people are saying ask that. Now, I'm no expert, but there's a few reasons why you may want to know what specialty programs are offered at your school. If you are preparing to be a general dentist and you don't want to specialize, if there are no residencies at your school or limited residencies at your school, there's a higher chance that you will see more complex cases as a dental student in the clinic and you don't have to worry about your cases being referred up to the postdoc endo department or the postdoc prosthodontics department or whatever it might be. So you're learning how to do those harder cases while you're in school, which gives you more experience and a better leg up when you start being a general dentist. On the flip side, if you are interested in specializing, there's also a benefit to having these specialty programs at your school. You have people right there that you can shadow, people you can talk to, get references from, etc., find a mentor, all those things. So there's a gift and a curse to having specialty programs at your school. And depending on what your goal is, or even if you're unsure, this is a question that you probably want to ask in your dental school interviews. Third question, and this is kind of a twofold question, but it's an easy way for you to get an idea of what the school is like and an opinion of the school from one of the faculty members. What about your dental school are you the most proud of? 
And what is one thing about your dental school that you wish you could change? This is basically the nice way of asking, give me a positive and negative about your dental school. That way you can ask it without it sounding so abrupt or so harsh. And more than likely the professors will answer it truthfully or whoever your interviewer is will answer it truthfully. A lot of schools also will give you the opportunity to talk to students from the school. So if you're not comfortable asking that question to a professor, or if you're not happy with the answer or just would like more information, bring this back up when you get a chance to talk to current students at the school and they will be very transparent with you. No money goes in or out of our pockets whether you come to the school or not. Question number four. A good question to ask would be roughly, what is your faculty to student ratio? This will give you an idea of how long you'll be waiting for checks in the clinic, how easy it will be to get help from a professor in the clinic, how easy it will be to get help from a professor in the sim lab, get checked off in sim lab, etc. A lot of people have issues with large class sizes. They think, oh, 200 kids in the class, I'm not getting the same attention as someone with only 50 people in their class. And while that is generally a decent way to evaluate the situation, what matters more is for those students, how many faculty members are there? You may have 50 students in the class with only four faculty members, and you have 200 students in the class with 20 faculty members. It's still not even, but those are things to consider when you're considering the class size, size of the school you're attending, etc. Next question, what support is there for students who are interested in specializing? Now, this question is obviously for a very small, minute um, population of people because a lot of people go into dental school not knowing if they want to specialize or they think they want to specialize in something and change their mind, etc. The question you want to ask is what support is there? Do they have a career building center or a career, a career center that can help you with your CV? Um, do they help you with applications? Do they help you with uh, fees for assessments like the CBSC or the GRE or whatever it may be? These are questions to ask in your dental school interview because even if you're not sure, you want to make sure you're covering all your bases and you want to get to know the school just as well as they got to know you. Next question, what method, if any, does the school use to teach students about practice management? A lot of us going into dental school have no business background, didn't major in business in college, and really don't know how to run a business. However, a lot of dentists join the field because they are looking to be independent, private practice owners, business owners, and with that comes a learning curve. If you've never learned anything about owning a business or managing a practice, are you going to learn anything about that in dental school? or? Is that something you're going to have to teach yourself after you graduate? This is a good question to ask all schools because once you get to the point where you're thinking about where you want to attend, all of these factors will come into play. Last question. What is the typical day like for a student at your school? What's the clinic schedule like? What is the class schedule like? Some people will find that their first year schedule files in med students first year where they only have class from eight to 12. Some people will find that their first year schedule is nine to five every day. Some people will find that their clinic sees patients on Saturdays like my school and you didn't know that you were gonna be working on the weekends, but there you go. So it's an important question to ask all the dental schools because these can be factors when it comes to choosing a dental school. Now the reason it is so important to ask questions in your dental school interviews is because one, you want the professor or the interviewer to know that you are genuinely interested in the school and interested in knowing more about the school. But also, you want to be under the assumption that you will have options for dental school. And if you have options, you will be wishing that you ask questions in your interviews that would help you determine whether you want to go to X school or Y school more. Some of us get so caught up in the hype of, oh my God, I got a dental school interview. I might go to dental school. This is amazing. And you get in the interview and you just don't want to say the wrong thing or you, um, you're afraid of overstepping boundaries because you're trying to make sure you get accepted. But shift your narrative to understand that if the school likes you, they'll like you and they'll accept you for who you are. And if they don't, it might not have been the best fit for you. However, don't be afraid to ask 
questions, genuine intellectual questions about the school that will help you make a decision about whether you want to attend that school. Sure, you applied, but ask yourself, is there somewhere I really want to attend? Do I like the school's curriculum, the professors, the area, anything like that? Ask all these questions because you want to be sure that you're investing your money in the proper four-year education. Anyway, that's just a quick video for all my pre-dents that are in the dental school application cycle this year. I'm wishing you all the best. I know interview invitations are rolling out, probably already started rolling out and will be rolling out for the next few months. If you come across this video and you know someone else that's applying to dental school, share this video with them and make sure that they don't get led astray before their dental school interviews. And also, make sure you watch some of the dental school vlogs on my channel while you patiently await for your dental school acceptance. That's all I have for this video, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.